So if you've been using Managed Flitter to build your Twitter following, uh, you've probably noticed this when you've logged in recently. And if you actually follow these links to the status, uh, right now it's saying that we're experiencing system outage. But right below that, you're going to see a summary of what has happened. And basically, they're saying that Twitter has notified them that uh, they have revoked their access to Twitter's API, which basically means that they cannot integrate with Twitter anymore. So the features that you were using with Manage Flitter to find people to connect with and to you know send the, the follow requests and then to also kind of clean out your account and unfollow those who are not following you back, basically are not gonna be able to do that with Manage Flitter anymore. And there's other apps that have been affected by this, but uh, you know this is the one that, that we've been using. And, and I'm really disappointed at this because I really loved Manage Flitter. They were a great service. They had just an awesome application and the filtering capabilities were really top notch. And I really hope that uh, they're able to get something resolved or something worked out where they can still function uh, in a similar way to what they were functioning. But for right now, what you're probably wondering is that if Manage Flitter isn't working, what else is out there that I can use to build my Twitter following with? And so in this video, I'm gonna show you two of the best alternatives to Manage Flitter that you can use to continue to build your Twitter following. Stay tuned. So, alternatives to Manage Flitter. The first one I'm gonna to talk to you about is an app called Nero, and I'll have the link for this in the description below. But this is an app where if you want to be just totally hands off with managing your Twitter following, this is probably the best one that's going to be out there for you. This is one where you can just set up a bunch of t keywords and accounts to target. And then the app itself will basically take care of all of the following and unfollowing for you. Okay, it's going to manage all of your growth. All you have to do is just tell it which keywords you want to target and it'll pretty much take care of the rest. Now to set up your keywords, it's just over here uh, on the upper right hand side. And if you click on this little question mark, it'll actually give you a pretty good guide as to how to use this and different ways that you can put keywords in here that'll help you to grow your following. And it also has an advanced search uh, section here where you can do some more advanced things. But I'm just gonna show you just real quick how to use this. Right now, uh, if, I put a, if I put a keyword in here, it's going to follow users, it's gonna favorite some, uh, uh, some of their tweets, um, and I can toggle these on and off, okay? Now, if I also want to target these keywords in their bios, okay, I can click this as well, and then it'll also target in the bio. So for example, if I do just hashtag Twitter, I'll click add keyword, it'll save. This does take a couple seconds to actually uh, add that to your list here, but right here we can see this is the keyword. Uh, it's going to target the bios. Okay, so it's gonna specifically look in people's bios for this keyword, hashtag Twitter. It's going to follow people when it finds this keyword in their bio, and it also will favorite tweets that use this keyword. Now, I can change any of these just by clicking right here. I can turn these on and off. So if I wanted to say, okay, instead of searching in bios, I, I wanna search for tweets instead. Okay, I just unclick that and it'll, uh, it'll just do tweets. Now, if I wanna do bios and tweets, I can just add it again. And then I can do this. And so I'm basically adding the same keyword twice. And then one is specifically looking in bios. The other one is looking outside of bios. Okay, the other thing you can do is you can target the followers of other accounts. Okay, and you do that by adding the at symbol and then the, the name of the account. For example, this is our Twitter account right here. All you would need to do is just take this up here in the URL. Okay, this is our at name. Okay, it's also down here. Okay, so what you can do is just copy this. Just pop that right into there. Okay, the at symbol plus the, the Twitter handle. Okay, and I wanna do this. And you're gonna wanna turn off the target bios for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go add keyword, and there we go. Now, some of the other neat things that I really like about this, number one, that it's just totally hands off. I, don't, I can set this up and I don't have to worry about it. But the other thing is that it gives me a conversion rate, which is really cool. I haven't had this turned on for very long, only part of the day. It's done 32 follows, it's uh, favorited 
12 other uh, tweets. I've got a 37.7% follow back rate. And these are the number of followers I've gotten so far. So, so far it's been pretty effective as far as the conversion rate. So that's just a basic setup for Nero. I might do a more comprehensive tutorial on this later on, but I just want to show you just really quick how this works and who it's going to be good for. This is something that you do have to pay for. So if you have one account, uh, it's 19 bucks a month. Uh, if you have up to three accounts, $49 a month and up to 10 accounts, $99 a month. But you know, if you're using managed flitter, you were paying for that anyways. So, uh, even if you had one account with Managed Flitter, I think that was $12. So for another $7, you can pretty much do the same things and have it fully automated. So really that's not too bad of a deal. Now the second app, if you want something that's, that's closer in functionality to what, uh, what Managed Flitter is, then Refollow is the one that you're going to want to use. And again, I'll have the link for this in the description below. But this one in some ways is better than Manage Flitter. In other ways, it doesn't quite measure up, but really it's a great alternative. And this one does have a free trial that you can sign up for so you can try it before you actually start paying for it. And that's what I'm on right now. And this is probably the one that I am gonna go with. And the reason being is because I prefer to have more control over exactly what's going on with my Twitter account. Like I like the idea of automation and everything, but Nero doesn't give me enough options uh, to be able to configure exactly how it's automated. So refollow is one that, that I'm probably going to go with, uh, as far as the pricing plans, it's pretty similar to narrow. So $20 a month for one profile up to three profiles, $50 a month and 15 profiles, $150 a month. So as of the time of this recording, that's what their pricing plans are. Now, the way this works is that once you've connected your profile, you set up uh, what we call campaigns and you can see that I've already got one campaign set up here but basically a campaign is a keyword or is kind of equivalent to a keyword or it's a search that you that you set up in the application to find people to follow okay so to create a new campaign I just click here where it says create campaign and these are some of the options that it gives me so the first step here is to tell it where to find people to follow. Okay, so I, do I want to you know, target people who follow another account? Do I want to target people who tweet a certain phrase? People who are followed by other accounts? People who have certain words in their profile? So this is you know, gonna be looking in their bio. People who mention me, so if somebody mentions you on Twitter, you can have them show up on this list and you can follow them from there. And here is if you want to follow people who are following you, right? So, so people who follow you, if you want to be able to follow them back, you can set up a, a campaign for that as well. So if you're looking for new followers, probably the, the ones that you're going to want to use the most are people who follow other accounts. So for example, if I want to, uh, if I want to search for people who follow Twitter's Twitter account, right? I can do that. Or if I want to find people who are using certain words in their tweets. So if, uh, whether they're using hashtags or just a search term, uh, you know, without a hashtag, I can, I can search like this as well. So for right now I'm just going to do, you know, basically copy the followers of another account. And I'll put Twitter's account in there. And then below that, I've got some options for filtering. Okay. And this is what I really like about refollow is that it gives me a lot of my favorite filters that manage Flitter used to give. So following count, if I want to make sure that the people have followed at least a few people on Twitter so that I know that they're likely to follow other people. If you don't want to follow somebody who has followed absolutely nobody else on Twitter. Okay, if you follow somebody who doesn't follow people, well, you're not really going to get a follow back. So I prefer to stick this somewhere around 50, make sure that they followed at least 50 other accounts on Twitter. And then I know that, you know, there's at least a pretty good chance that they will consider following me as well. Follower count, I don't care how many followers they have. Maybe I, I want them to have at least 10 followers. Total tweets, I do want to make sure that they are somewhat active on Twitter. They've had at least five, 10 tweets or more tweets per day. I, I like to set this at point one. So uh, at least once uh, they, they tweet at least once every 10 days is basically what this is saying. Influence ratio. I don't really care about that. Language. I do prefer to connect with other people who speak English because I don't speak any other language. Tweeted within the last 
blank days. So I, I prefer at least once in the last two weeks. Okay, again, I wanna connect with people who are somewhat active on Twitter. Here's another one that I want to select. Okay, I want to have it turned on and then I want to have this set to no. Okay, people I am following. So I wanna connect with people who I am not yet following and who are not yet following me. Okay, so I want both of these turned on and both of them set to no. Previously followed, I do want that turned on and I want that turned to no. Okay, if I followed someone previously and they did not follow me back, okay, I don't wanna keep following them over and over and over, right? I, I don't want to annoy them and I don't, I don't wanna bug them. I just wanna connect with people who also want to connect with me. So this is another one to turn on. Make sure previously followed is checked and set to no. Has a picture, yes, I do prefer that if someone is gonna be on social media, that they are social enough that they show you what they look like. So, so I, t I turn this on and have that selected. Verified accounts, I don't care if their account is verified or not. Okay, so once you've finished all this stuff, uh, you can just click save and run campaign. There we go, and it's loaded up a ton of uh, search results. So it looked through uh, 5,000 profiles that found 937 that matched my criteria. So now I can go through these uh, and you can see some of the information here. So you can actually kind of go through and, and do a quick check to make sure that they really are somebody that you want to connect with. And this is another feature that I, I really like. Uh, and then over here, you can just click uh, the follow button to follow. And as I do this, what you'll see, if you look up in this area right here, okay, when I click follow, you'll see queued completed. Okay, and it says estimated time, six seconds. And basically what it's gonna do is that every time I click to follow somebody, and, and if I click through these really quick, so I just did like 10 of them, and it says 48 seconds. And what it's doing is it's basically waiting about six seconds in between each follow. And this is a feature I really like, because one of the things that re can really get you in trouble with Twitter is when you rapid follow a ton of accounts all at once. And that's one of the big red flags that Twitter will look for when it looks for people who are spamming their platform, okay? So the fact that refollow actually slows you down, uh, even, even when you rapid click through these like that, to me, that's, that's a really good sign that refollow is doing a good job in keeping your account safe. Now, if I go back onto my dashboard page, you can see here, uh, it, it gives me my stats for, uh, for the last day. And you can see here, I followed 12 with, uh, with my last campaign that I ran. Follow back count zero for now, because I just ran it like a few seconds ago. It'll give me a follow back rate, which again, I really like being able to see the follow back rate. Okay, that's how you know that you're targeting the right accounts. That's how you can really grow your Twitter following really fast, is by just really laser targeting into your best sources for followers. And that's something that Managed Flitter didn't do that I really appreciate in something like Refollow and also in Narrow. Now the second half of this is actually unfollowing the people who do not follow you back, right? So you wanna give people a few days and then if they decide they don't wanna connect with you, you just unfollow them. So we can do this by clicking the unfollow people button up here. And again, it's gonna give me some filters. So I can choose uh, to unfollow people that I'm following but are not following back or I can just say, show me all the people I am following by clicking this one down here. Now, I prefer to do the top one because I think this bottom one will actually get you in trouble. If you follow people and then you unfollow everybody, regardless of whether they follow you back or not, that is a clear indication to Twitter that you're doing what they call follow churn. You're following a bunch of people and then you're following everybody that you followed. And that is definitely what Twitter would consider to be follower churn and you don't want to do that. So. And a couple of ways that I like to set these filters when it says was followed. Okay, so this is how long ago that you followed the person within the refollow app. Okay, it can't track people that you didn't follow outside of this app. Okay, so that's one thing you have to keep in mind. I typically like to set this at five days, sometimes even more. But for most people, five days is going to be a good amount of time. If somebody, if you followed somebody and they, you know, it's been five days and they haven't followed you back, that's a good indication that they probably just aren't ever going to follow you back. Okay, so uh, I leave this at five days. Following count, followers count, I don't care about those things. Uh, any of this other stuff, I really don't, you know, it, it's not going to affect whether I uh, unfollow them or not. Here's one that you want to leave the way it is. You, you want to make sure that uh, the following me is set to no. Okay, so this is people who are not following you. And then the rest of these I just kind of leave alone. Again, you can do more search options up here. It gives you these other filtering options. For unfollowing, I really don't use these. I just kind of leave it pretty much like this. 
people I am following but not following me, and then was followed five days ago or more. That's all I really do to set up this filter, and then I click search people. Now, I haven't had this app for more than a few days, so really it's, it's not gonna show me anybody in this filter. Because everyone that I followed has been within the last day or so. So if I move this back to zero, it'll actually show me some more people. And here I can just go through and unfollow all the people who are not yet following me back. And it, here it says, you know, how long ago did you follow them? So all these people I followed within the last day. And then I can go to the, to the other pages to find people who it was maybe, you know, these people were, were followed outside of the app. Okay, whenever you see this, this little line here, that means that these are people that were followed outside of the refollow app. Okay, so if I want to unfollow these people, I would just uh, click this button. And again, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to kind of throttle you and make sure that you're not unfollowing people too quickly either. So again, that's something I really like that refollow is doing here and it helps to keep your account safe. So that's how the, the follow and unfollow functions work with refollow. And there's, there's a bit more that you can do with this uh, that you know I don't want to go too in depth. I just want to show you some great alternatives that you can use with Manage Flitter. Later on, I'll probably do some more in-depth trainings on these to show you really how to dial these in and use them to grow your Twitter following as fast as possible. If you want to check us out on Twitter and give us a follow and see uh, how we market our business online, go ahead and give us a follow. We're right here, Todd and Leah Ray. You know, twitter.com forward slash Todd and Leah Ray and you should be able to find us pretty easily. And we're also very active here on YouTube. So if you have a business or you want to start a business and you want to be able to market online on social media, then go ahead and like this video, give us a comment below and be sure to subscribe to our channel and you'll be notified every time we come out with a new video. Once again, this is Todd from Todd and Leah Ray.com and I will catch you next time.